Hey people, is Europe building the world's biggest UAP detector? Well, below Belgium, Holland and Germany, this new Einstein telescope will be the most sensitive gravity anomaly detector on our planet. Of course, its main function will be astrophysics, using gravity waves to detect the 95% of non-luminous or dark matter in our universe. Mathematically proven to be out there, but so far invisible and mysterious. The gravitational pull of dark matter on our universe is enormous and can't be accounted for by just rocky planets and asteroids. There's something else lurking in the depths of our universe, something dark and heavy. But maybe the answer to what dark matter really is is actually hiding in plain sight. A new idea wonders if the universe's earliest atoms became so energetically fast, accelerating to almost the speed of light, so gaining mass as they reached their unimaginably high top speed. The theory wonders if their ancient mass still bends space-time, but their physical presence is long gone. That big question, and others, is what a gravitational anomaly detector can do. But folks, how can a fundamental physics instrument buried under a field in Europe actually detect visitors from afar? Well, if a UAP was significantly more massive than suspected, several implications might arise about gravity wave detection. One, increased gravitational influence. A more massive UAP could generate detectable gravitational waves, especially if it was involved in dynamic processes like rotation, acceleration, or interaction with other massive bodies. Two, potential detection scenarios. If such a UAP was to collide or merge with another massive object, it could produce gravitational waves similar to those from a black hole or neutron star mergers. Or if the UAP craft had a companion, their gravitational effects could be detectable by these type of instruments. So, of course, discovering how UAP might actually work could prompt scientists to discover their true origin. And here's something I really hope happens. Collaboration between astrophysicists, aerospace engineers, and UAP researchers. That could yield new insights into UAP and gravitational propulsion. Maybe we're on the cusp of a new era where astrophysics and UAP research might merge to reveal new facts about gravity. So viewers, let's look at the evidence now that UAP modify gravity. Firstly, on a simple practical level, a non-human intelligence visiting Earth from say 400 light years away, you know, would take 400 years getting here and getting back, even if they could achieve near light speed propulsion. Many physicists think that alien visitors would need to modify space-time. I was privileged to learn in this very room from Jack Sarfati and from Ron Evans from Project Green Glow at BAE that gravity modification wasn't about floating in the air. It was about modifying space-time. But UAP research has already revealed a strange gravity anomaly associated with UAP. Counterintuitive blue shift effects have been observed and have even injured experiences. This strange effect apparently occurs when UAPs go away or depart quickly. You and I would expect something going away to be redshifted, the frequency of their propulsion being stretched by it disappearing. But that's not what is observed. In fact, the electromagnetic radiation seems to increase in frequency as it departs. That effect has left experiences injured. When the red, green, or white light of a UAP suddenly departs, 
the light shifts into the high ultraviolet, causing skin burns, and then dangerously into mild or low X-ray EM radiation. So we're all trying to answer this question. Is the strange blue shift anomaly a sign that UAP modify gravity? Right. What is gravity? <laughs> I love that question. Right now, right here in 2025, we're actually living in the third age of gravity ideas. We've moved on from Isaac Newton, although his ideas still work. I very much as a child of Sputnik have lived through Albert Einstein's ideas on gravity and they still work. But now we're beginning to consider the quantum effects of gravity. Adding all those apples falling and distorted rubber sheets together. <laughs> we now know that gravity isn't a force. And that opens a new door, a possibility that us humans and of course, non-human intelligence might be able to modify space-time and hence gravity. So if non-human intelligence has modified gravity, their warped space-time trip to Earth would be almost instantaneous. It would only be the acceleration and the slowing down when they arrived that would take any time. The bit between their planet and us would be nearly instantaneous. And that would mean the trip here is well within the lifetime of an alien creature or even an AI probe that would have to come here and go back and report its findings, uh, you know, long before people had forgotten they'd sent it. That might work. I'm very pleased and very excited that the Einstein Gravitational Field Telescope is being built here in Europe. Because for years, over two decades, European countries have admitted that UAP are real, although they don't see them as a threat to national security. And if you don't believe me that that's the paradigm about UAP here in Europe, just yesterday I got this fantastic letter from a viewer about his daughter seeing a UAP flying over this place, Filingdale's radar station. My viewer's daughter captured a UAP photograph over the iconic radar site and sent the photograph to the facility. Their acknowledgement and reply clearly demonstrates British acceptance that UAP are real. The RAF PR officer at Filingdale said, Thank you kindly for your photograph of the UAP over our radar station. We regularly see UAP in the sky but they are not considered a risk to national security. I include some stickers as a way of thanking you. You see, it's completely normal here in Europe. They're real and they're not a threat. It's about time that the USA accepted UAP are real. I know they know, but it's time to be a bit more open with their citizens. UAP research requires openness and scientific cooperation globally. I live in hope that this new gravitational wave telescope finds data that knocks some sense into nations still debating if UAP are real. Because the truth is out there.